There we go, guys. We are going full blast to the canyons here in Chiapas de Corso. Behind me, you can see our captain. It's the guy running the boat. His name is Pablo. And we are moving. We are going as fast as this thing can go. This is really good. Look at a little, bunch of little kids in the canoe. This is great, guys. Welcome to Mexico. Welcome to Chiapa de Corso. We are going to have a great tour up the canyon. The canyon's on the River Grijalva. that you cross the river Grijalva that will take you into Chiapa de Corso from Tuxa Gutierrez. This is actually a view, we saw this when we came by taxi from Tuxla. Uh, we went by taxi to Chiapa de Corso for 150 pesos and he pointed this out. And up ahead are the canyons that you are going to see and that's what we saw from up on top of that bridge. Up on the edges up there, they actually have cactuses growing all along up there. All full of cactuses. Up ahead here, this is the government. They set this up. The boat has to slow down. And they make sure that everybody is wearing a life vest and safe. So when you come on a tour like this, they make sure you're safe because they don't want nothing to happen to the tourist. Look at those mountains here in the state of Chiapas. There's a lot of little, little rivers or streams feeding in. Lots of birds. This, I guess, is like the Grand Can Canyon of Mexico. This is just the entrance of this. Canyon. This is the entrance. This is the entrance of the canyon here. This is it, guys. We have arrived. Welcome to Mexico. Welcome to Chiapas. And welcome to the Canyon del Sumadero. Right there, crocodile. Oh. Wow, there is. This is a crocodile laying there on the rocks, guys. Check that out. And then everybody will come to this side. That is nuts. I will zoom in right here. Yeah, stay so, on your side, please. Don't jump in and swim because, you know, he looks hungry. Yeah, especially with the crocodile. We don't want to go in the water. He's just sitting there like he don't care. He says, this is what we see up ahead here. The V, the UV kind of shape. That is part of the, part of the coat of arms of Chiapas. This that you see right here. That's on the coat of arms of the state of Chiapas. This is amazing. Look at those rocks up there. Here we go again, full blast. Wow. This is a part of Mexico. I did not even know existed. I'm almost 
speechless. If you, that would start breaking off right now while we are going underneath here because it's sticking out over the top of us almost. Look, another cave there. I love it. Thick jungle of snakes and tarantulas and monkeys and crocs in the river and not little crocs big crocodiles that one that we saw back there that, that was about seven eight feet long wow holy cow this is something else I can see this is a big attraction here in Chiapas because there are a lot of boats that do this tour. There's so many boats in the river doing these tours, it's unbelievable. And a large quantity of the tourists doing it are local Mexican tourists. <laughs> they say the water here is about 70 meters deep. 70, 80 meters deep. And they said this here, this point up here, this point up here, that is one kilometer high. And they say when the Spanish were trying to take the Chiapas Indians as slaves and prisoners, they would jump from up there. They would jump from up there to commit suicide because they refused to be slaves and prisoners for the Spaniards. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down one kilometer till they slammed into that water that you see right in front of you. Look at that view guys with the sun in the back. And it's kind of like misty looking the air. We're slowing, we're slowing down so we are coming up to an attraction. Let me check, is my audio on? Yes it is. Okay, what do we have here? Up ahead, they have a shrine to the Virgin of Guadalupe. The patron saint of Mexico. She got her shrine up here. Virgin Guadalupe, she's uh, very important to the Mexicans. So somebody found this cave and actually made a shrine to her here many years ago and for some reason the rocks have these colors here's another boat full of tourists look at that here we go again take it off guys from the shrine to la virgen guadalupe Going further down the Canyon de Sumareros, Rutas, Rutas de Sumareros. Gonna start flying by. Esa es la Garza Blanca. That's a white stork. That's the white one. This is an amazing tour. I recommend it highly. Yeah. This is going to be a long video, but you know, you, you can make a five, ten minute video to take in the beauty of this place, guys. It's just too much here. I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Give us some comments. Hey, have you ever been here? Let me know because I didn't even know this place existed. So if you've been here, let me know in the comments down below. And please subscribe. We need subscribers to make this channel grow. 
and keep bringing you interesting stuff from Mexico and around the world. But we are starting off our main country after we got out of Canada is Mexico. So we're bringing you from a lot of other countries very soon. As soon as you finish Mexico, it's a big place. Here we have more amazing rocks. Look at that, how high all that is. We are going quite fast in the boat, so it's very windy. I had on a baseball cap earlier. I had to take it off because it would have, it, I would have lost it. I don't know if anybody else sees it. I see a face right up there. I see a face. I might be the first person in history to see that face. Look at it there. If you see it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Can you see it there? Can you see the face? Our Captain Pablo, he's doing a great job. He's pointing out birds and other animals along here. Oh, for your information, let you know, this tour costs 270 pesos per person. And it lasts like two hours. Totally worth it. 100 pesos is five, 200 pesos is 10. And then 20, 40, 60. So $13.50 US for this tour. It is 100% worth it, guys. Because it is, you will see stuff that you've never seen before. Real Mexico, real jungle, real canyons. Look how high that goes. Look up there. It's just crazy high. Can you imagine how many millions of years it took to carve this out? For the water to carve this out of the rock? Probably billions and billions of years. Oh, I love it. Coming to you guys off the beaten track here in Mexico. Actually, not that off the beat because there are tourists around here, but not many yet. Thanks to you know what. But man, I'm loving it. It's great. You don't need to wear masks. Everything is good. Make sure you're vaccinated, that way you're safe. Just in case you get in contact with something deadly. And nothing to worry about. Come on, welcome to Mexico, guys. Welcome to our channel. We're having a great, beautiful time here. We got lots of Mexican videos coming up, so stay tuned. Up there, in the middle of the screen, I will try to zoom in. There is actually a mini mini waterfall coming down there but you can actually see the mist from the water it's just amazing holy cow it's actually quite large waterfall we just can't see it from far away but right now we are right underneath it you see water coming all the way down there look at that jungle with the moss and the plants and look at that it looks like like umbrellas look at that look at that it's like it has umbrellas tiene como sombrillas wow here we're on a big open spot big wide area on the lake Back there, you can see farms. There's another town over there somewhere. 
houses way up there. We will bring all of these places to you so you can enjoy them. Just don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And you're going to get a tour of Mexico, the real Mexico, off the beaten track like you've never seen before. So there's a whole town back there. So we are coming up to some kind of civilization area here. It looks nice. I guess he's slowing down, so he's going to explain it to us. Oh. I think there's a dam here. This is, this is the end of the tour. This is the dam. Up ahead, you can see the dam. All the electricity is generated here. They have eight turbines. Five of them are working at all times, and three are on reserve. In front of us, right there, is a monument of the guys who developed this area, Chicuacin. This area is called Chicuacin. What you guys see back there, that is the dam. They have eight turbines, five are running all the time, and three are on standby, and that generates electricity for a huge chunk of Mexico and Guatemala. This was started in 1970, and the dam was finished in 1980. And the water here is 270 meters deep. And here we have... Here we have a mobile store. Look at that, guys. You can buy your Coke, you can buy your beers. Your micheladas, you can buy chips, everything you want right here. I have to go pee pee, so I don't, I don't want to talk about business. Talk about normal business. Uh, what do they have there? Chips? They got chips, they got Cokes, they got all kinds of stuff. Bye! Uh, yeah, Paul Nasua. Nasua. So these people mean business. They have the boat out here and the tour guide will bring him here and then you can spend some of your money. And people are buying the Cokes and stuff. How much for a soda? 30 pesos? 30 pesos for a manzanita. Yeah, they, they, it's, not, it's not cheap, but you know, they got to sit out here on the boat it's and make like a living. In the desert, you yep. need something to do. Here in the desert, <laughs> you're thirsty. <laughs> you're going to pay the price. And the driver, for bringing him here, he gets a little Coke or something like that, maybe a little tip. Hey, everybody got to make some money in this life. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, going back will be quick. No hay baño. 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 No the mobile oxo. Very ingenious. There's so many tours coming through here all the time. I mean, what a better way to make money. At the end of the tour, you know, a lot of people are hungry and thirsty and want to drink. Right now, it's, it's cooled off a little, quite a bit, as you can see. 
the sun is going down, the sun's not beating up, beating down on us, so people aren't that thirsty. But I bet if you take this tour at midday, yeah. you are going to be dying of thirst and they'll be making a lot of money. What a great idea. So that is the dam back there, guys. Uh, we have reached the end of this tour. And now we are going to head back to Chiapa de Corso. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope it was not boring. Please subscribe. Hit that like. Give us some comments. You've been here before or you would like to come or stuff like that, let us know. We're always interesting. Uh, please subscribe. Welcome to Mexico, guys. We're happy to take you along. Check my audio on, yeah. Well, that is it for the tour here in the canyons in Chiapas. This tour leaves out of Chiapa de Corso. It's like a two hours, cost 270 pesos per person. It's worth every cent. Near the end of the tour, the guy driving the boat will ask you if you'd like to donate some money towards him because he is very, very, you know, they're not paid a lot of money here. So give him a little tip. He asked for like a 20 pesos. We gave him a 50 pesos. I mean, you know, what is that? That's nothing for us people up in North America. Cause these people here are paid, paid, paid peanuts. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Canyon de la, I forgot the name. I'll write it down below. It was absolutely wonderful. Welcome to Mexico. It's a beautiful country. So much to see. It's just amazing. Uh, we are going to bring you a lot of videos from here. And uh, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you keep up to date when new videos coming out. I've been releasing two videos a week. I'm thinking about going to three videos a week. If you want me to go three videos a week, let me know in the comments. I'm thinking about doing that. So thanks for watching. Until next time, next Mexico video. Bye-bye. releasing three videos a week instead of two.